Okay, so the idea is to work on the SHA-1. I don't, I won't really show you how to do that, but I will show you the idea. SHA and the SHA family of hash functions in cryptography is used for hashing values. And today SHA-1 is not secure. SHA-3 and SHA-256 is much more secure. The problem in SHA-1 and what we're going to do is SHA-1 is that it's vulnerable for collision attack and collision attack is an attack when two different, two different inputs give you the same output. Two different inputs give you the same hash value using the SHA-1. And this is a very, very, very dangerous problem because if I use, for example, SHA for hashing, so I can sign, I can I can use this SHA for digital signature. So I, some agency, for example, sign their documents using their signature and they, then they hash it and they send it. Now, when you get it, you want to see that the hash you got is really the right hash value. And now I don't know how they signed it, but we get the hash. And if it is the hash that we know is authentic, this is the hash of the agency, so I know it's good. Now, if someone, an attacker, wants to, I know, to, how do you say Lezayev? Lezayev. Sorry, translate there's a yet. Oh, there's a yet. Oh, translate there's a yet. To fake, yes, of course. So, if someone, the attacker, wants to fake this digital signature, so we need to find another input that gives you the same output. So, this is the collision attack. You need to find two inputs that give you the same output. Therefore, if the attacker finds it, he can use the different input that he knows, hash it, and it will look like the hash came from the real signature, the real agency. This is the problem, one of the problems of collision attack. You find different input, but with the same result, with the same hash. Think how difficult it is if you get some hash value and go and find value that going throughout the SHA-1 will give you the same hash value. Think how difficult it is. This is an example of hashing. Here it is. How would you know that it came from a low world? You won't know. But this is the hash value. This is the, the tells you that Yes, this is authentic. Le and the attacker wants to find another input for SHA that will give you the same hash. And then when you sign a document and take this signature and go throughout the, sh the hash function, you'll get the same hash. And then you will think that it came from a real agency, the real signature. But no, the attacker just did a collision attack, find another input, that it can use to get the same hash value. Now it's very difficult, but in SHA-1, it is vulnerable today for collision attack, collision attack. And now how it works this, and today we're using, used for good hashing, SHA-256 or SHA-3, those are the more secure ones, not the SHA-1. But how the SHA-1 works? So the SHA-1 will pet my message, will convert it to a hash, and use blocks. I'm not going to get into it too much, but SHA-1 is a cryptographic function. It gets the message and it produces 160 bit 20 bytes. If you look at this result, this in, in hexadecimal. So each bit here is four 
each letter here is four bits so take this one and convert it take it to the multiply by four this is the length now it should be 160 i wish it will if you just multiply this amount by four but anyway this should be 160 bit and i took hello world and this is the result now how it works we convert it as you say and this is called a digest and here is how it works high level message padding if you look at the message hello world and you convert it to bits for example i don't know ascii utf and everything that converts uh, letters to binary values so this is how you will present it now you will pad it to be a multiplication of 512 512 bits so what you will do you will add one at the end here it is add single one bit and then you will pad it with zeros until length of 448 you can see here the one this is the original message this is the one one is here and you add zero bits to get it to 448 bits here it is and then we add 64 bit representation of the original message less length okay i don't really understand why this and then final pad message 400 512 here it is and then divide the past padded message into 512 bit blocks in this case we have one block but you could take any other multiplication of 512 bits so you may need to divide in this case we only created 412 and initialize the hash value those are the hash value and processing divide the block into 32 bit words and extend the round to 80 words perform 80 rounds of hashing operations and this is the hash for all word so again i didn't really show you how it works but anyway it takes a message and creates 160 bits of hash value now the problem is if someone will take another message and will get the same hash value if it happens this is a collision and I can use this other text for collision attack, for signing. For example, if this is the hash value that tell you that this text is original and I found another message that also give me the same hash, I can use this other message to do it on my document that are fake, hash them, and it will look as if it came from a real authentic message. Now. The problem, you ask me, why not to just use a low word and you get the hash that is like, good. The problem is that I don't really know this signature. I don't know the signature of the agency, the real one that they use. I just see the hash one and therefore I cannot use it. I need to find it, but finding it is really difficult. Think about all the words that can be, that can create this one. It's very difficult. So. If you find any other text that create the same hash and it's part of and this hash is used I don't know for a signature of an agency I mean after they hash it you get this so you can take the other input that you found to do a collision and use it on your documents and to the hash and this hash will look as if it came from the other original message from the other original signature and you can fake the uh, signature. This is the problem of collision attacks. And because SHA-1 is vulnerable to collision attack, it is not safe. It is not safe anymore. So we have SHA-3 and SHA-256 more safe today. Thank you very much. If there are any mistakes or correction, please tell me. This was some words on SHA hashing. Especially I talked about SHA-1. I didn't talk about, talk about the... Uh, how SHA-3 and SHA-256 works but this is the idea of SHA hashing and generally about hash functions and what the problem in collision attacks to find two inputs with the same hash value for digital signatures that it can be used this those encryption hashing functions thank you very much and that's it